Hello once again, everybody. Um, it seems to be customary to say at the beginning of all of my videos, sorry for any background noise you may hear. Um, our street is being torn up today to fix some type of water leak, so they could start jackhammering at any second. And if you can hear that, I really, really am sorry. I will try to stop recording if they are being extremely noisy, but yeah, commentary time. Woohoo! Um, all right, so we're back with the Hiccup and Astra drawing, and I wanted to start out by saying thank you, everybody, for the 40,000 subscribers. I reached that yesterday, which is awesome. Yay, thank you guys so much. Um, contest video will be posted very soon. I am just waiting for a couple of prizes to come in the mail from Jet Pens and from Uzak. So those should be here in a couple days. And then I will record the video, and then I will post it. I'm just trying to work out all the, all the kinks and all that fun stuff for the contest. So yay! I'm looking forward to being able to do that for you guys. Um, Alright, so this is the long version of this drawing. There is a short video as well. It's about a little over five minutes long since I... People wanted to see a short version and a long version, and I, I like that. So, yeah, the shorter version just has music with it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do a long version and a short version for all of my speed paints, but for ones that take me a particularly long time, like this one did, I probably will do that, unless people want me to just keep doing a long version and a short version. That's cool, too. Um, let me know if you want me to do that. Um, yeah... So I asked for suggestions for commentary in the last video, and I got a lot of good stuff from you guys. Um, and I wrote them all down on a handy sheet of paper, and I'm, it's going to be more kind of like a Q&A type deal, because not all of them are like related to this particular drawing. So I'm just going to go through those, and hopefully it will take up 16 minutes of time, because it's a long time for me to talk. Um, yeah, so let's get started with that. Alright, so the first question I got a couple times was, did I do a different inking style for this drawing? And there's a plane flying over my house right now, as usual. Sorry. Um, yeah, I did do a different style of inking than I normally do for this drawing. I tried to do more of a sketchy look rather than the really super precise inking style that I usually do, and there is a reason for that. Um, I inked this late at night on 4th of July, <laughs> and people in my area really liked the 4th of July and were blowing stuff up into the wee hours of the morning, so I didn't want to be doing like really detailed inking and then have like a mortar explode in the house next door to me, <laughs> and then I would mess up and have to start over. So that's why I chose to do a more sketchy style, but I actually really like the look of sketchy inking, so I might do that with a couple more pictures sometime in the future, but yeah. Different style of inking. It's nice to try something new. <laughs> um, Alright, so next question is, um, how do I choose my colors when I'm drawing? Do I choose them before I start, or do I just pull them out as I go? Um, I usually pick my base colors before I start coloring anything. Like, I'll have my skin tones that I want to use set out and then the order I want to use them, like, on the side before I even start coloring. And then if I feel like I need additional colors, I'll just start grabbing them off my shelf and then testing them on a piece of paper that's usually on my left-hand side. Sometimes you can see me pull it over and color test on it. But yeah, um, I usually have probably a good majority of my colors picked out, and then I'll just pull them out as I go. So yeah. Um, oh, this question is related to the sketching video for this. Um, would I be willing to combine all the inspirational slash art block comments into one video for people to use as a resource? Um, I don't know if I would do that just because they're all already in the comments of that video and can be used as a resource as they are right now. Um, if I'm looking for some type of commentary topic in the future, I may do that, but right now I just think that you can just go read the comments on that video if you're looking for 
ideas about how to get inspiration or overcome art block because they're all there for you to read. So, yeah, um, I got asked if I would talk more about art school. I have another deco video that's supposed to go with the first deco video that I posted that I'm going to talk about art school again. I know it's been a long time since I posted that video and I didn't realize it had been so long. Time is just going by way too fast for me right now. But yeah, I am going to talk about art school again in that video. And it sh I was planning on posting it this month, but now I have a whole bunch of other videos that I'm going to end up posting this month, so it will probably be next month. But it will be soon, and I will be talking about art school again. So sorry to keep you guys waiting about that, because I know that I've been getting a lot of questions about that lately, so. Yeah. Um, so this is, these are going into the, like, not really related to any drawings in particular type questions, but just things that people wanted to know. Um, can I give any advice about speed painting and how to start making videos for YouTube? Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess I can do that. Um, I would say that if you want to start doing speed paints, um, and you want to get subscribers and stuff by doing that, I would just say always make sure that you are posting your very best material. And post often. Like when I started, I was posting a video a week. I don't know how I was managing to do that because I can't do that anymore. But, and I always made sure that the stuff that I posted was stuff that I really cared about. It wasn't just something like I'm not just going to do this little s silly little doodle and post it on the internet and hope I get subscribers. I want to make sure that the stuff that I post matters to me because when you can tell that a piece matters to an artist, it makes the work better, I guess? Like, I feel like you can tell when an artist really likes the thing that they're working on because they're passionate about it and they put a lot of work and a lot of hard effort into it. So just make sure that if you want to get subscribers um, and you want people to see your work, just make sure that you're doing the best work that you can and that you're not like half-assing it, I guess, is the only way I can say that and just... Um, yeah, make sure that you post often and that you're friendly and if people ask you questions, try and respond to them as best as you can. Like, uh, that's something that I struggle with a lot, but I try my best and I like what I do. It's important that you like what you do and you, it definitely does show in the work that you do. So that's my advice for doing speed paints. Don't do it to get subscribers, do it because you love it. So, yeah. Um... Let's see, I got a question about talking about digital drawing because I showed my Cintiq in my room tour video and somebody wanted to know what kind of digital artwork I do. Um, I do digital artwork sometimes. <laughs> I've used my Cintiq mostly for, I use it as a dual monitor when I'm animating in Maya. Um, because I like to be able to use the stylus rather than a mouse when I animate. So it's easier to be able to use the stylus to animate. But I do um, do Photoshop um, paints. Um, most of the ones I've done have been for my um, post-production class for school. Um, the production classes at my school where you actually make short films that are entered into art contests and like art shows and I mean, not art shows, animation shows, like animation festivals and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I've done, I did a bunch of backgrounds for our pre-production for the last production that our school did, which is just about finished up. Um, and you can actually see a couple of them. I took some photos while I was working on them, and they are on my Instagram if you want to see some examples of digital artwork that I've done. Um, they're just background illustrations, but they're pretty cool. So those are there if you want to go check those out. But um, I really like my Cintiq. It's cool. It's easy to use, and I need to use it more often because it was really expensive, and I don't use it as much as I should. So, yeah. Um, oh, here's one that's related to this drawing. What is my favorite part of this drawing? Um, Stormfly. 
<laughs> Actually, I've never drawn Stormfly before, so this is the first time I ever drew her, and she's really fun to draw. So this is my, she's my favorite part of this drawing. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, how did I learn to draw anatomy? That's a question I get a lot. Um, I taught myself how to draw anatomy from observation, but I taught myself how to draw pretty much everything that I know how to draw. And then I took classes, which strengthened that foundation that I already had. So I was able to experiment with it more, but, um, I learned to draw anatomy just by observing the figure and drawing what I saw. And that's basically the only way you can learn to draw anatomy. So, um, yeah, I've been thinking about doing a anatomy tutorial series. I'm just kind of throwing this out there. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to do it, but I've been really thinking about doing it a lot lately. Um, sort of like a drawing for animation style tutorial series because I don't think there's not much out there on YouTube that's that type of thing so I have been thinking about doing that and I was taught how to draw anatomy or like an animation style anatomy by to a really really great illustrator and a Disney animator so yeah I think that it would be something that would be really interesting to do. So I'm just throwing that out there that I'm considering doing that. So I know that there's going to be a lot of feedback about that because I know people have been wanting me to do it. So I'm, I'm considering it. So I'm just throwing that out there. Um, uh, what types of art style styles have I experimented with in the past? Uh, I drew anime. <laughs> when I was, that was pretty much it. For a really long time, that's all I did was just draw anime. And, um, but since then I have branched out, like I can do realism. I don't do it very often, but I can do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I can pretty much do any style. I just have to practice it a little bit, but there's not, I just work in my own style for now. Um, yeah, but I've experimented with a lot of different types, but I was, um, stuck in the anime style for so long that I did feel like I couldn't really branch out as much as I wanted to. But yeah, um, that goes kind of into the next question is how do you feel about your progress from when you started drawing until now? Um, uh, I'm okay with how much I've progressed or not. <laughs> um, I feel like I, since I spent so long working in the same style, the anime style, for so long that it really did hold me back from being able to expand what I am able to do. And I've been kind of trying to catch up since I stopped drawing anime, but I'm okay with where I am right now. I'm not, nobody, no artist is ever completely satisfied with the work they create, and I'm no different from anybody else. So I'm still working. Everybody's still working. So, um, did I have a certain style in mind when I started drawing? Um, I wanted to draw anime because I wanted to be manga artist when I grew up. And then I learned that that was completely unrealistic. And, but I still drew in that style for like 10 years, even though I knew that. Um, no, I didn't have a specific style after I got out of that. I just kind of did whatever I felt like. And now I'm drawing the way I draw now, which I don't really care for, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is all of the questions that I can fit in here. I just wanted to talk about some other stuff before this video concluded. 16 minutes, and minutes wasn't that bad. I probably could have made this video a bit longer. I still feel like the speed paint part is still really fast, but it was either 16 minutes or 32. So, you know, <laughs> so, um upcoming videos I have. I have the Crayola challenge video that's coming and that is already finished. I did it the other night and it is really fun. I love do doing that. It was super fun. So I'm going to do some color pencil videos because I actually haven't done any for my channel yet. Um, I'm going to do a picture of Astrid in color pencil and the sketch is on my Instagram. I'm going to do a picture of Valka, which is already drawn and is on my Instagram as well. Um, 
the next comic video will be coming before the end of the month, the second page of the comic. Um, the deco video I already mentioned is going to be probably next month. I keep, I have a list that I keep all the videos that I'm going to do for this month so I can see it and make sure that I'm keeping track of what I'm supposed to be doing. And that deco video has been on the bottom of the list for the past like two months because I've been meaning to work on it and haven't got around to it. But it's already filmed. I just need to post it and do some commentary for it and stuff. So... <laughs> But yeah, those are all the videos that I have coming up. And of course, the um, contest video, which should be posted. I'm going to say it's, I don't want to guarantee a date. So I would like to post it on like Sunday, but I'm not sure if I'll have all the prizes, but I guess I can just go ahead and do it without having all the prizes because I'm still waiting for stuff in the mail. But um, it'll be posted either Sunday or sometime throughout this coming week. But yeah. Um, that is all I have time for, and thank you guys so much for the 40,000 subscribers, and thank you for watching!